We need, I believe, a shareable sense of the sacred. Now, why? A billion of us are secular humanists, roughly speaking. We don't believe in God at all. We are impoverished. We've lost spirituality. My own hopes is not for a single civilization where we all speak English and eat hamburgers, but laced together to invent persistently new cultural forms or ways of being human so that our own creativity is enhanced. Where creativity becomes a central good, it's an indigenous creativity. And it's tied to the fact that uh, the biosphere without selection is building its own future possibilities of becoming, which I find just stunning. I want to say, how much magic do you need? Okay. So is that creativity in the universe, that ceaseless, radical, indigenous creativity, is that your God? Yeah, that's my God. And I invite you to do something. Go into a forest by yourself with some animals and some plants and some bacteria and stuff and look around and say, all that's happened is that for the past 3.5 billion years, the sun's been shining. There's been a few other sources of free energy and all this stuff came to exist with nobody in charge. That's true. How much do you want for God? It's so awesome, mysterious, grand. That's God enough for me. If you're religious, you say, who are you to reinvent the sacred? I mean, the sacred's in the Old Testament or the New Testament. And if you're a scientist, you say, don't you remember Galileo and the Inquisition? Off with your head. I mean, I'm seen as an apostate. But the idea is to be neither. Not to appeal to the secular humanists. Not to appeal to the fundamentalists. It's to say there's something we can share, all of us.